The Mountain Gorilla High in the misty mountains of Central Africa lives a legend wrapped in muscle and mystery. 200 kilos of calm power, a chest like armor, eyes like yours. Because, well, 98% of their DNA is yours. They live in family troops, quiet, loyal, deeply social. But their world? Shrinking fast. Only about a thousand remain. That's fewer than the number of people who've been to space. Poaching, logging, war. Humans gave them no break. Yet somehow, they adapt. They watch us, study us, forgive us. That's more than we deserve. Still, the jungle isn't short on fighters. Because while the gorilla learned to endure, another predator learned to disappear. And in the shadowed forests of Sumatra, something still hunts. The Sumatran tiger, the real king of the jungle, not that lazy cat from Africa. While the lion naps under the sun, this one hunts through shadows, silent, precise, alone. Only about 400 left, smaller than other tigers, but faster, sharper, hungrier. A predator built for vanishing. It once ruled endless rainforests. Now it's trapped between palm oil plantations and logging roads. Yes, the jungle king dethroned by shampoo. Every roar echoes through fewer trees each year. Every silence lasts a little longer. And yet, it adapts. A master of stealth, still claiming what's left of its kingdom. But some battles aren't fought with claws or fangs. Some are fought with memory. And a trumpet's call from the Asian elephant. The Asian elephant, the largest land animal in Asia, and one of the smartest on Earth. It remembers faces, mourns its dead, and even paints when it's bored. That's right, art, emotion, empathy, all packed in five tons of patience. But intelligence doesn't stop extinction. Less than 50,000 remain. They lose forests to farms, highways, and cities built right through their ancient routes. Each year, dozens are killed in train collisions. Not because they're wild, but because we built over their memories. And still, they forgive us. They keep walking the same invisible roads their ancestors walked for centuries. Gentle. Massive. Melancholic, the perfect symbol of strength wrapped in sorrow. But not every survivor walks on land. Some drift through oceans, armored, ancient, and glowing with history. The Hawksbill Sea Turtle, a living relic from the age of dinosaurs, and possibly the most stylish reptile on Earth. Its shell glows like polished amber, so naturally, humans turned it into jewelry. Centuries of hunting for tortoise shell trinkets nearly erased them. Their numbers dropped by 80%. Today, only a few tens of thousands survive, scattered across tropical oceans. Each female lays 200 eggs, and maybe one hatchling makes it to adulthood. One, but they're more than beauty. They keep coral reefs alive, cleaning them like underwater gardeners. Without them, reefs suffocate. Elegant, ancient, necessary. The ocean's quiet architects. Yet, even the sea isn't safe. Because far south where the water freezes solid, another survivor faces a melting world. The Emperor Penguin. The Emperor Penguin, the ruler of Antarctica, wearing a tuxedo and a death wish. They endure blizzards, starvation, and months of darkness. Temperatures drop to minus 60. Winds cut like razors. And yet, they stay, standing together in perfect circles of survival. Parents take turns guarding a single egg. 65 days of hunger and ice. No nest, no comfort, just instinct and courage. But the ice is melting. Their frozen empire is slipping away, one crack at a time. Colonies vanish as the sea warms just two degrees. Two degrees! A species built for the cold, undone by heat. Their march isn't heroic anymore. It's desperate. And while they stand on thinning ice, another giant stands on the edge of extinction. The Northern White Rhino. The Northern White Rhino. A legend that's technically alive, but already gone. Only two remain, both females. No males, no future. Just scientists, freezers, and hope. 
poached for their horns, keratin, the same stuff in your fingernails, these giants were wiped out by superstition and greed. People believed their horns cured diseases. All they really cured was logic. Once, they ruled the African plains. Now, they live under 24-hour armed guard, protected like royal ghosts. Science is trying to bring them back. Cloning, IVF, miracles in petri dishes. But even if we succeed, what world will they return to? They're not extinct yet, just waiting for permission to be. But in a world obsessed with extinction, one creature somehow became a symbol of survival. The giant panda. The giant panda. Nature's black and white paradox. Too cute to fail, too lazy to care. For decades, it was the poster child of extinction. Now, a rare success story. From a few hundred to nearly 2,000 in the wild. A comeback powered by bamboo and international diplomacy. They eat for 14 hours a day, they sleep for the rest. They can't run fast, can't hunt, and barely reproduce. Yet somehow, they survive. Proof that sometimes, being adorable is an evolutionary strategy. But don't be fooled. Their forests are still shrinking. Their food, still fragile. They're symbols of hope, built on borrowed time. Because while one species climbs back from the edge, another slips beneath the waves. Sleek, silent, and circling extinction. The Great Hammerhead Shark. The Great Hammerhead Shark, evolution's strangest masterpiece. That head, wide as a dinner table, packed with sensors that read the ocean like radar. It sees everything, smells fear miles away, built to rule the sea. And yet, even kings drown in human greed. Hunted for their fins, carved into soup, sold as trophies. Populations have dropped by more than 80%. A predator turned prey. The ocean's silent enforcer, sliced apart for luxury menus. Each fin cut is a heartbeat lost. Each kill, a crack in the ocean's rhythm. They've patrolled Earth's waters for 20 million years, but they may not survive the next decade because when the apex falls, the ocean forgets how to breathe. Megalodon. The name alone sounds like an underwater apocalypse. A shark so massive it could bite a whale in half and still look hungry. If you made it all the way here, you're officially part of the species that actually pays attention. Subscribe, leave a like, and tell me which endangered animal deserves a comeback next.